What's good? What's good? A man is in custody after forcing his girlfriend or wife into a van. Initially, people on social media thought this lady was being kidnapped, but her punk boyfriend. Man, ch check this video out. This is disturbing. In this video, the footage appearing to show a woman being pushed inside a van surfaced on social media, fueling lots of speculation and concern for the woman's safety. And now police are looking into this. Sean Lay is live with what we know so far. Kimberly, we've been looking into it also all day long since we also got our hands on that video. We believe it happened in an alleyway here, right near 8 and Gratiot. We'd like to know more about who the two people are in the video. And the big question is, is the woman in the video you're about to see, is she okay? <laughs> the video is extremely hard to watch, but this clip is going viral on social media. We're told it's from this past Christmas night in the area of 8 Mile and Gratiot. A man pulling up to a woman in an alley, slamming her up against the van and forcing her into that van. So Who is that woman? Where is she now? Who is the man? Where is he right now? Detroit police say they have the video and they are investigating. So are we working to pinpoint which alley this disturbing incident took place? And are we watching an abduction or a domestic violence incident? Here are the clues from the video. The van is marked Lakeside Budget. That's a rental company here in Sterling Heights. An employee inside says all information has to come from Detroit police. There's more. The woman is not wearing a coat. The man has on a winter hat and a gold jacket with a number one on the back. Plus, she likely knows this man. First, you can hear her on the video saying, just be nice, stop. Just be nice. And then she says the man's name. You can hear her saying, Quentin, I can't fit. I can't fit. Sources tell me police are also breaking down the video to see where this investigation is going. Quentin is a punk ass nigga. It, it is what it is. Back here live on Detroit's east side, a video of course hard to watch and you feel for the woman in that video. Local four viewers have been reaching out to me all day long saying they're horrified by what they're watching in that video. But again, very few details from Detroit police, only that they have the video, breaking it down in camera. Social media video that's left Metro Detroiters in shock. It shows a man getting out of a delivery truck, grabbing a woman and forcing her into the vehicle before taking off. Thank you for joining us at five. I'm Mike Duffy. Detroit police say that they've arrested the suspect. And so far, the investigation points toward a domestic dispute. Seven Action News reporter Faraz Javid is on Detroit's east side where the incident took place and explains how it all unfolded. I'm on 8 Mile and Shaner, and right behind the Loud Heads hookah store is where the incident took place. This is the alley where the van pulls up, and that's the security camera that captures it all. We were able to identify all of the individuals who are on the video. Assistant Chief David Lavalle says the incident took place on Christmas Day at 5 p.m. What led to this moment? An argument between the two. Uh, there was some alcohol involved, we believe, a uh, holiday party, and like I said, they've had a multi-year relationship. The police say the 39-year-old victim suffered minor injuries to the face, while the 32-year-old suspect who was arrested today at 9 a.m. could face several charges. A domestic violence charge, domestic violence assault, because they have a dating relationship. Uh, and a kidnapping, but ultimately that'll be up to the prosecutor. The backyard of Khalib Rahim's rental property faces the alley, and this was his reaction when I showed him the video. I can't believe it. Khalib says something like this has never happened in his peaceful neighborhood. I mean, you don't treat someone that you love in that fashion. You know, you take him banging the head. If she doesn't want to go, I mean, let her go. Meanwhile, the police are also shocked. They say it's unfortunate that they learned about the incident through social media like everybody else. Had this been uh, an abduction of a stranger um, where the individual's life was in, in danger, you know, those 36 hours could mean the difference between life and death. So domestic violence is a serious issue in this country. If you look at the news, 
now a lot of emotional boyfriends is just taking out the whole family from coast to coast. This young lady is scared shitless of Quentin. We know his first name. We do not know his last name. This lady is scared as fuck of Quentin. Now it's easy to say, just leave. Just leave the guy. In those situations, where could she go? Who's gonna support her? Who has the the money? He might got all the money. It's it's a uh, sad situation. Hopefully, this lady does not end up dead by quitting. A year from now. We might see Quentin on the news for killing this young lady. I hope that does not happen. Let me know what you think. I'm out of here.